Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. What I have here is a new battery from Golden Mate. It is the Orion 1000. It's a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery and I believe it has some smart technology in it. So let's open it up and see what we have. All right, when you first open up the Orion box, right on top you have a couple of communication cables. Uh, one is uh, fully, has two connectors on, the, on the, each side. And then the other one has the, uh, the connector for the battery and then uh, the exposed wires so you can add your own connector. And these wires actually are labeled so you'll know uh, what wire goes to where if you do need to connect your own communication cable on here or co communication plug. Uh, you also have a user's manual and a couple of wire connectors. And then underneath that you have the battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the physical features of this Orion 1000 battery. All right, the front, it has two terminal post bolts that are built into these plastic uh, orange caps. And they do come with a washer and a lock washer installed as well. The terminals are a brass and they are color coded with epoxy, black and red for positive and negative and there's also symbols for positive and negative on each side, which is nice. Uh, right here you have your communication ports. Uh, the front says Golden Mate. See this side over here just has a little label on it for a little bit of information about the battery. It is a 12 volt battery so the nominal voltage is 12.8. It's a 100 amp hour battery so that gives you a watt hour capacity of 1280. Um, it says the charge voltage is 14.4 volts, 14.6 max. The charging current, the maximum is 50 amps and the discharge current is 120 amps. So that's a pretty big variation. I kind of find that odd. The working temperatures, charging is 0 degrees Celsius and uh, up to 50 degrees Celsius and discharge is negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. All right, the back of the battery. Uh, is the same as the front except for no communication. Uh, this right here is a QR code so if you need to have assistance with the battery it's 24-7 uh, service and just use your camera on your phone to sc scan that QR code and you'll be good to go. And then on the top there is a very nice display screen which we'll be looking at in a second which tells you more information about the battery. This battery is also uh, Bluetooth compatible so we'll be downloading an app and uh, checking it out from there. This battery is IP67 rated so that means it can take some splashes and take some dust but it can't be submerged by any means. Alright the length of the battery is 12.75 uh, inches in length. The height of the battery is uh, about 8 and 3 8 inches if you include the terminal bolts uh, you're looking at a little bit over nine possibly and the depth is six and a half inches. It does have built-in handles which is really nice. Now let's go ahead and check the weight and the weight of this battery is 29.5 pounds. All right with all batteries you should always check the voltage right when you receive it to make sure that it is in between 13.1 and 13.2 volts. That's where I like to keep it uh, just to make sure that there's no issues with the battery right out of the box. All right, and the voltage of this battery is 13.3. So that's a little bit higher than I expected, but it's totally fine. Oh, and also right in the center of this, there is a small vent, uh, a vent valve right here, which is nice. And let's take a look at the screen on top. All right, all you gotta do is press this little button right here and the light does display. Um, it's at an 83% state of charge. And so far, that's all it's telling us. So we'll see what this does um, while we're charging it. I'm going to go ahead and put on a charger to get it up to 100% and we're going to go ahead and do a capacity test to make sure that we're getting our 100 amp hours that we paid for. I've got the Orion 1000 starting to charge with my lit time uh, 20 amp 12 volt charger and the screen automatically uh, added some information which is pretty nice. It added that I'm inputting 224 watts into this battery. So I like that. I like how the input and, and I'm guessing the output is going to be on this side, but they, uh, they don't show up until they're being used. So that's a nice little feature. All right. So when this is all uh, charged up, I'm going to go ahead and do a discharge test and we'll see what our results are. 
All right, well, the capacity test on the Orion 1000 from Golden Mate just got finished, and check out the amp hours, 107.1. That is great. That is 7% higher than the 100 amp hours that comes with the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and charge it back up, and then we're gonna do some high amperage testing on it. All right, now to the high amperage testing for this Golden Mate Orion 1000 12 volt battery. Uh, this is my favorite part of the test. I love it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cranking it up. I think it says that the battery can handle 120 amps of continuous discharge. Um, so that's what we're going to be kind of shooting for. And then after that, we're going to do a pretty much to see what at what amperage will this battery shut off. So we'll be adding more items to it. But let me show you what we have going on right now. All right, what we have is the Orion 1000 battery. We have a voltmeter connected to it to watch the voltage and an amp clamp so we can watch the amperage. Uh, we have it connected to a 5000 watt pure sine wave inverter from MX Moonfree. And what we're gonna be powering is uh, we're gonna be setting our new wave induction cooktop to 900 watts and we have a 500 watt heater. So that'll give us like 1400 watts right there. That should be pretty close to 120 120 amps and another thing about this battery is that it is Bluetooth So I went ahead and downloaded the app and we're gonna go ahead and watch the app as well to see all the differences All right, and here is the app on the screen right now You can see that the app says that it has 13.4 volts at and it's using about an amp just to power the inverter uh, That makes it 13.4 watts the rated energy is 1338.7 watt hours and the endurance time it's saying that it can handle this for right around 100 hours. It also shows the temperatures, you can switch it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And at the top it does show that the battery is at 100%. This is uh, you know, nice and flashy, it, it only gives you your standard information, you know, it's not going to go into uh, what the voltages of each individual cell of the battery are, which for most for most purposes, you don't even need. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the test. I'll keep the app up on the screen and we will just watch it. We're gonna see if we can power it for five minutes. And there's our timer right there. So let's go ahead and turn on the induction cooktop first. And then the heater. Start the clock. And we are actually looking at 131 amps right now. And the, the, the app, the, the current in the app actually says 127, now it's 125. And it's going down because everything is starting to kind of soak. I mean, the heater is at temperature and the induction cooktop is constant. Okay, so we're gonna do this for five minutes to make sure this battery can handle it, and then we're gonna pump up the amperage. All right, well, it's been over five minutes. It's actually been five and a half minutes, and this battery didn't even break a sweat running this 120 to 130 amps. And as you can see on the app, uh, the temperatures at the bottom, I mean, they're still in the 70s. Uh, you know, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. In the Celsius, that would be, you know, that'd make it 23, 24 degrees. Um, I mean, so they're not even having any issues, which is, which is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this running and we're going to add another thing to it. Uh, and actually before that, I'm just going to do this induction cooktop. Let's go ahead and bump that up all the way up to max. All right, in the app, it does say, oh, current is now 168. Uh, my amp clamp says 173. Voltage is down to 11.8. But it's still running it. We've been running this now for over seven minutes and it's running uh, 173 amps. It, I feel like it should have maybe started to shut off by now. But what I've done is I've introduced the Griddler as well. It's another 1200 watts. So, you know, that's another 100 amps that we're gonna be throwing at this. So let's just go ahead and turn that on and hopefully, hopefully the battery shuts off due to high amperage. Let's do it. Uh, 
All right. Okay, actually, the battery shut off. That's excellent. It took me a while to figure it out, but the voltage of the battery is only 2.5. So that means that it went, it went to sleep. And it doesn't show, it doesn't show anything on the screen, like error messages or anything like that. And then on the app, you can see that it says over current discharge. So that's perfect. It, uh, it, it actually shut off. And wow, look at that. The app actually brought up a, a notification saying over amperage discharge. So uh, that, that worked exactly the way it should. I did feel like it ran uh, that 170 amps for a little bit too long. All right, and actually looking at the manual again, it does say that it will run 150 amps for around five minutes. So uh, that 170 amps is probably close enough. So it was doing exactly what it should be doing, which Good job, Golden Mate. That's excellent. And also, I'm trying to I'm trying to look on the app to see. You know, it's telling me that there's an overcurrent discharge alert, uh, and it's telling me the you know information still. But there's nowhere on the app that says like, "Hey, wake up." And this battery, it's probably been about five minutes, and it still hasn't it still hasn't woken up from its from its uh, over amperage discharge state. So I'm guessing I probably have to. Put another 12 volt source on to wake that BMS back up. All right, putting 14 volts on. All right, and we're back up to 13.36 coming out of the terminals. So that worked perfect. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if this battery has cold temperature charging protection. Um, I, nowhere in the manual does it really say that it does, but I feel like it should be just a given. So I'm just going to throw it in my freezer for 24 hours, and then I'm going to try to charge it. If it charges, then it does not work, but if it doesn't charge, then that is another bonus. So let's go ahead and just throw it in the freezer, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, well, I just pulled out the Orion 1000 from Goldmate out of the freezer, and we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to a 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger to see if it will charge when frozen. Now, as you can see, this charger has a green flashing light right now, and that means it's on standby. Uh, if, it's f if it's a solid green, that means it's fully charged. Uh, if it's a solid red, that means that it's charging. And if it is a blinking red, that means that there's a fault. And usually when I do this, uh, as soon as I connect them, it will go to charging for just a few seconds and then it will go to fully charged because the BMS is telling it to stop charging. All right, let's go ahead and connect it up, see what happens. All right, it's starting to charge and it just shut off. That's perfect. That means that this has cold temperature charging protection. Good job, Golden Mate. All right, so I think that Golden Mate made a pretty good battery here with the Orion 1000. I like the fact that it has these built-in handles that are they're, they're nice and easy to carry. The design of the battery itself is nice looking. Um, the capacity, it gave me 107 amp hours, which is right around the highest I've ever gotten from a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. And it passed all my other tests. It passed the high amperage test and it passed the cold temperature charging test. So this battery is about as full of features as you can get. I mean, the bonuses are it has this touch screen on the top that tells you the state of charge. Um, and then it will also display on there the input and the output wattages that are coming to and from the battery. And it's Bluetooth, so you can connect it to the, you know, the Golden Mate app to be able to see more information. The only thing that I don't like about this and it's super tiny is these terminal bolts. They have this plastic which is a good idea but you can't use alligator clips or just battery clamps which come with most chargers. You have to use a ring terminal. Uh, but again that's a very small small detail. 
So if you have any questions about the Golden Mate Orion 1000 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have a link to this in my description if you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.